All right, it's finally working on this thing for 2025. One of the biggest things I'm doing is trying to take some weight out of it and kind of help the cooling system. So last year I had this uh, ducting, which worked pretty good uh, through this quarter window, through some tubing, and then the radiator is still sealed off inside there. The problem is there's so much um, material I had to add to duct it properly because the exhaust from the car as well as the exhaust from the radiator would basically just circulate in there kind of see on the sides it's a little dark i had to block it off basically on both sides here and it's just it's not properly done all the way and to do that was just going to be a pain there's just a whole a bunch of reasons so anyway what i'm doing is i'm replacing this glass rear section with a plexiglass. My goal is to do a very tiny slot, if possible, feed the radiator. So either a tiny slot, I'm not gonna try and cut the whole thing out. I'm trying to do as minimal as possible. That way it still looks kind of stock looking. So first thing I gotta do is get the old one out. So I grabbed one of those cheap Harbor Freight kind of kits like this, and we'll see if that actually worked. So let's get this out and then uh, we'll start cleaning it up and putting the uh, plexiglass one in. The glass out, the upper kind of deck lid panel and I've cut the hole for the inlet. Before I had the inlet right there that would go basically through a hole in the center and feed basically the trunk area. I had to have all this ducting and stuff and it, it didn't work out as good as I hoped. So the idea now is to make a plate to cover up all this junk and then make a duct that'll come up. So whenever the plexiglass is here, it'll kind of be covered and then have like a little slit in it I took the stencil and traced it on the sheet metal. I made it a little bit large, that way I have plenty of room to trim it down, that way I don't need to add material, because I only bought one piece of this. So I'm gonna get my electric shears out and cut that up, and then we'll see how it fits. What we're using is this uh, Harbor Freight electric shear. It works pretty good. I've never used it on a big piece like this before, but uh, we'll see how it goes. That thing did an awesome job. Uh, you have to kind of go on a tight curve. You kind of got to go past it and then restart. But I mean, for what it is, that worked great. So definitely invest the 20 bucks in one of those things. All right, that's in. It's a little big on the sides, which is what I kind of anticipated. However, it will fit once I trim it down a little bit. It looks like the edge is gonna be exactly what I want. Messed up the holes a little bit. I'm going to put washers over that so you won't see that goop. The front here is bent down and I have rib nuts basically in the body. So I have five. This plate is going to go here and get bolted in. So that'll give me access to my battery, which is going to go in the middle as well as the um, surge tank. And then if I need to get to any fittings and then the top here. I'm going to use these existing holes, there's one right here, to kind of mount this. And then I'm also going to put a rubber seal around this. So that way, that's why there's a gap. So the rubber seal will actually fit through there. So, and that'll also be covered by like some of the tint on the window. So anyways, got the panel here. I'm going to quick throw some of this on it. I was going to do black, but I think a stainless look will look pretty sick. Right at the bottom where the duct's gonna uh, um, basically set up against the radiator, I have this foam tape that we'll put on. This is used for like ducting work in your house. So it should work for this. Not sure how it's gonna hold up to the temp of the radiator, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So got this cut out, everything's painted. Trim piece is gonna go to cover that up because I cut it a little wrong. I'm gonna drill out all of these with um, rib nuts. So it'll be removable. And then I will draw up this piece and get a laser cut and that'll be good. A couple people recommended this. This is just like weather seal. So it's got dual, but I can just rip one of those off. 
I'm gonna put it on the outside and then I'm gonna get uh, fasteners that have, uh, or sorry, I'm gonna reuse the fasteners I bought. That way they don't go to waste, these ones. And I'm gonna get a rubber washer that goes over them specifically for sealing. So that'll be making this waterproof, that'll be easy. To deal with this uh, mistake that I made, I 3D printed this just as a sample. I'm gonna get a laser cut, but basically it's gonna go over and it's gonna perfectly fill that gap so you cannot tell that I screwed it up. So this will be a thin, thin piece of aluminum. It's gonna go all the way. This side's a little bit different shape, as you can see, printing the rest of it, but it's gonna go over, cover it all up, make it look good. All right, so here's what I came up with the battery tray. Okay. Like this, battery sits in it, tray will get bolted down to the chassis. And then this plate goes on top here and it'll get bolted down to hold it. Again, this battery only weighs about seven pounds, so it doesn't need much to hold it in there. Uh, I went with aluminum just to keep it lightweight and it'll be completely fine to hold that thing in there. You have your connector if you're modifying the length like I am on this one. You wanna make sure you get enough kind of cleaned off that way it fits inside. So just a rough example, perfect. And this is like a crimper that just uses a hammer. So you basically put the fitting inside of there or the crimp, whatever you want to call it. And then you just smack this with a hammer. What I normally do on these is I do it on both sides. So that way it's kind of crimped. You can see it. I'll put a little tape around that just to help keep it looking nice and I don't know if this is true or not but what I do is I look for that little plus sign to let myself know that I smacked it hard enough so I don't know if that's true or not but that's how I do it all right that's gonna be it for this video I'm gonna wrap it up um, I have some things left to do obviously I got to wrap the car but you'll see that next video hopefully um, so got the radiator shrouded got all that stuff done I got the new battery installed kill switch the seats I got to put in too so I have these two new seats that I got from Stable Energies. Um, they're OMP RSPTs, so they have the halo on both sides. So I have that driver and passenger side. An awesome replacement. They're super comfortable. The sides are a little higher, so it'll help keep you in a little better. And hopefully you guys like the video. I'm trying to get a little more videos out there and more detailed into this because there is a lot of unique things that's in this car, and maybe some people can learn from it.